Hi everyone, Sahil War here, and in this video today, we're going to be demonstrating how to return an, an array of elements with a function. Because this was an issue that I had the other week where I was trying to remember how to return, uh, to return a, 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 to return an array with elements with a function, and I had to jog my memory on how to do it again. So in this example here, what we've got is that we've got an array here declared that's called value. And this array contains five elements. It contains 5, 3, 17, 30, and 86. So inside this, inside this function that we've declared here, that's called return array, what it's doing is that it's going through all the elements and printing it out. And then it's also returning all those elements at the end. Now you may notice that for this, for this function return array, is that it's is that it's declared as a pointer. So as we've got the star sign here, so that indicates that this is this is a this, that this is a pointer function pretty much almost. So this so this what this so by by having that pointer there, this allows us to return all the all the elements inside the inside the array. Because if I remove this pointer declaration, what's going to happen is that it's going to say it's going to show us an error saying that. Is that the, the is that the return type value does not match the function type? So by by so by having that pointer in the function declaration, it's going to allow us to return all those elements that we've declared in in this inside this inside this um, inside line number eight. Now another thing that you may notice is that we've also declared the array as a as a as a static integer. So what this means is that when we, d we when we when we call this when we call this um, when we call this function return array in int main, it's gonna it's gonna keep all the values the same when we call it inside inside the int main function. Because if I remove this the static declaration, what's gonna happen is that all those values inside the array are going to change. So hence why we need we need the static keyword to keep all the array elements the same. I'll give you guys a quick a quick rundown of it right now actually. So we've got we've got our function set up and it's able to return all all, all the all the elements inside the array. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna is that we're gonna set it up so we've got a pointer to store the array. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna call the function to get the pointer to to, to the array and then it's going to print out Everything, everything that was originally inside the return array. So let's let's execute it. So there we go. So up the top. Up, so the first elements here are all the elements called inside. Inside return array, and inside the second part here, the array values outside the function are being printed out again. So if I remove the static keyword, if I remove the static keyword, save it and run it again, this is what happens. So as you can see here, we're getting complete mumbo jumbo when we when we run the, when we run the program again, and we don't have the static keyword declared for the for the array declaration. So if I put the static keyword back. And run the program again. The original array elements will still be there, and there we go. And that's the example of using functions to return an array of elements. I hope this guy. I hope this video was helpful helpful for you guys. It's a bit of a quick one for you guys today. If you really enjoyed this video and it's helped you a lot, please smash smash that like button down below. And don't forget to click, to click on the red button below to subscribe to the latest videos of the C++ Better Explained YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Attention computer science and engineering students. Are you tired of falling asleep in class while your lecturer spills that C++ gobbledygook? My name is Sahil Bora, and I'm the founder and proprietor of the C++ Better Explained website. What I'm offering you guys today is my 87-page book that outlines how to quickly and easily master the fundamentals of the C++ programming language. 
So if you've been searching around for free C++ tutorials that haven't made any sense at all, or free YouTube videos that have made you want to gouge your eyes out, my book will put all that rest today. Because my book is written in a straightforward and direct manner that will give you understanding the fundamentals of the C++ language in a matter of days using my, my learning tools such as analogies for dummies, logic made easy, and simple code diagrams that makes learning the C++ language brain dead easy and super fast. The book is $19, so click on the orange button below and pick up your copy today. You will not regret this at all.